Hi everyone, it's me Blanche and welcome back to Feast in the Middle East and we're going to do another recipe to commemorate South Africa and for those of you that haven't seen my previous episode, the reason why I am doing this is because I am incredibly grateful to the people and the country of South Africa for standing up to Palestinian human rights. It's been very difficult for me to post videos on here uh, just because I've just been really depressed to be honest and South Africa has given me hope in the future and sort of lit a spark in my brain and I thought, you know, why not just do a couple of videos commemorating South Africa and their cuisine and honor those people and that's why I'm doing this series. So I'm going to start with bread here. Uh, we're going to make mealy bread. Now mealy, I believe, is a kind of South African corn and I am always down for cornbread. Now this is actually a popular street food in South Africa where the bread is put into a can and steamed. And I think that's such a neat way of making it, but I'm not really familiar with that method. So I'm just gonna do it the traditional way and put it in a baking pan and bake it in the oven, just like I do all my other quick breads. Here's the finished product. I really enjoyed this bread because you actually put corn kernels inside. If you don't like that texture, then omit the corn kernels. But I love it because it is rustic. It's not overly sweet. It's nice and spongy and it's great to like dip inside soups and stews, especially during the colder time of year. I love having soup and bread for lunch. So with just a few basic ingredients, I'm gonna show you how to make South African mealy bread, otherwise known as cornbread. To start, grab a large mixing bowl and add two eggs and whisk. Then I added a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of half and half, or you could use all milk if you want, followed by a half a cup of full fat sour cream. You don't wanna skimp on the fat here, folks. Then I added a quarter cup of coconut sugar. Now you could use regular sugar, but I like coconut sugar because it's less processed, followed by six tablespoons of butter that has been melted, left at room temperature. Whisk that all up, and now let's get ready for the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna add a cup of flour, three-fourths cup of cornmeal, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon baking soda, and don't forget a dash of salt to bring it all together. What I love about this bread is the texture you get from adding actual corn to it. So I'm adding a half a cup of corn. If you don't like this kind of texture in the bread, then just leave it out. And you wanna gently fold and stir until it's just mixed. You don't wanna over mix or else the bread will be tough. This is the number one rule with all quick breads. So I'm really impatient when it comes to baking stuff. So I'm putting it in an eight by eight baking dish that's been greased with butter. This is shorter to bake than if you put it into a bread pan. But by all means, if you wanna put it in a bread pan, you can do that. Just expect about 15 minutes more baking time. I baked it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. The result is a spongy, buttery, mildly sweet cornbread that you can eat with either savory or sweet sides. I hope you enjoyed this series on South African cuisine. If you want me to do a deep dive on any other country, let me know because I love exploring cuisines of other countries, seeing what's popular to them, what's similar. Cooking for other people, it is a universal love language to me and I extend this love language to you. So I hope you subscribe, join our family, and if you haven't already, pick up a copy of my cookbook, Feast in the Middle East, which you can check out at feastinthemiddleeast.com. Until next time, may peace prevail.